Well, traveling to Virginia, we got about four more hours. Four bucks every daggum time. Wow. That, that's Corona money. Man, I, man, I feel like I'm in Cuba or something. How many more tolls is on this road? How far are you going? One more, going okay. Ohio? <laughs> Golly. Have you ever been through a toll there? Not, not through here. I mean, I've, I've been through a toll in Florida before, but not, okay. not three in a row. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Leaving Cuba. What is your ETA? I'm out trying to, trying to put one to bed. So, what is your, what is your GPS say? Nine? Uh, uh, probably 9.30. Okay. All right. Call me on the way home. I will. All right. We are in Virginia. Well, I've been in Virginia for a little while, but I am now at my destination. So everybody meet Justin, my buddy Justin Pozzola, the Virginia killer. I guess we're going to go find a turkey. He said he saw, well, he heard one holler off this afternoon, didn't you? Yep. One time, but he's in a so, good spot. He's so. in a good spot. Yep. So I guess we're going to get everything ready and we'll see y'all in the morning, bright and early. Well, good morning. Morning. Oh, I thought you were talking to them. We about, what we get, four, four, four hours, so four or five? Yeah. Hour. Justin Roosted one last night. Seems to be in a pretty favorable spot. We're gonna see if we can pull him on over. If he if he pitches down anywhere toward us, he's in play. But if he flies way across that creek, he's still in play. It's just we're gonna have to do a little adjustments. Yeah, we're gonna have to get get some warfare tactical on him. There you go. <coughs> kind of like Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Call the dogs on him. See y'all a little while. <clears throat> so just brushing up on the license stuff before we get ready to hunt. So I got those two things. All I need is now I need the non-resident archery. Right? I don't remember which one you clicked. But yeah, you need the deer turkey and the archery. Yeah. 31 bucks to make it harder on myself. The same way in deer Thanks. season. Thank you. Thank you, Virginia. Non-resident archery. So really, Virginia, y'all going to charge me $31 to subject myself to such punishment. You're not going to care when you run an arrow through one. So I appreciate y'all, Virginia. <laughs> y'all are too, too kind. We got to pay for these roads somehow. Golly, Moses. All right, let's check it out and get on with this road show. All right. So you think he's right here? Tell me where to stop. Just a general estimate. Out of 43 from right here. Alright. Let's see if we get up to that bend. Yeah, we'll be a hundred from the bend. I'm gonna let the 
just rely on the campfires and let them just walk in the decoy. Can you see the decoy out there? No. Okay. We're going to uh, hustle around and see if we can find another turkey. We'll find them. Oh, we'll, we will find them. Yeah. Justin's going to get that Liam Neeson on him. He ain't playing, he ain't playing games. He's going to get taken to the fire. That's right. I need to get that other strike. So here's our update, our situation. So, y'all see that? <laughs> that is very deep. And that means we would have to swim that, right? Yeah, I'm. We're not, yeah. I'm 6'4 and it's about up to my nips, so. Mm, that's the update. We're gonna get some coffee. We're gonna get a coffee and a, a powdered donut. Sounds just remarkable right now <clears throat> so hopefully we'll have an update with it for y'all soon it involves a gobbling turkey all right so me and justin uh just checked another property and put eyes on a gobbler he's out there by himself it's the same one justin said he's been seeing and we're making a big loop. Just being on the safe side of things, getting down below them. We're gonna pop up on this high ridge so we can just see if there's a way for us to get in position on him. He's by himself. So I think there's a good chance he might work. Justin said he's a pretty dominant turkey, so. We'll see if we can get in position on him. So that turkey, we saw him in one field to the right. By the time we made a big loop around him, he was on our side, on the field on our side. So we slide, we slid up there, got in the fence row by the briars, and um, he worked his way up. He worked his way up, but he wouldn't come over the hill. He was probably within 55 yards, I'd say at the closest. And he kind of swung around. So we're going to take this as an advantage on, for us, and we're going to go ahead and make a big loop and get on the other side of him. That way he can't come behind us when we get a good vantage point. We can see him when he shows back out. All right, so we've got uh, Justin just saw three hens come out on this power line in the field. They're working their way around this little peninsula near a pond. Looks like they're cutting across the field towards us. This gobbler we saw earlier is on the other side. Or he was. Hopefully he's gonna come out. This will be good. Just have the hens on our side. Hopefully they'll loaf around right here. All right, so the gobbler just showed up. He was on this road in between these two fields. Back to our right, kind of disappeared. I'm guessing.
us and he got up with them. I don't know if he's going to come over or not. We're just kind of at the mercy of these hens, whatever they decide to do. One of them was acting a little bit nervous. She couldn't get to the fence. We're going to sit here and just play it by ear and uh, make an adjustment if we need to. But as of right now, we're kind of locked down right here. Be patient and see what happens with it. gaps in this fence and I believe he's going down to the first gap I think the other gobbler went off with those three hens so this one might come two-year-old or something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alright, so this gobbler, I have crawled all the way down this fence line, crawled all the way back because I spotted him. I thought he was in another field. He's actually in this field. Crawled all the way back, climbed this tree for a second time, third time, and now I just spotted him the last time I climbed the tree and he's just coming a little bit closer and then acts like he's going away, but he's He's just, he's gonna end up up here, I believe. Hey, you don't wanna act right, what are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna make him act right. We're gonna go in bobcat mode. And uh, this turkey's going over this hill. So, he's probably gonna come through that second gap we're talking about. I'm gonna go all the way around, go up down the hill, and cut him off, and just bushwhack his butt. And y'all can see it on the GoPro camera. See you, Justin. Alright, so it is day two, Virginia, and after all the running around yesterday, set up on a gobbler, obviously y'all saw that this morning, had a bird, he was gobbling, uh, several birds gobbling, probably seven or eight turkeys gobbling. Several turkeys fly down in front of us. Couldn't see them. Um, don't know. They had to see the decoy. They didn't come in all the way. Had a hen fired up. Turkeys 
literally 50 yards behind us. We have the real hen in front of us and we're calling and she's calling and turkey's gobbling but he won't come all the way up. I don't know. She, he actually wouldn't gobble at her for some unknown reason because she sounded way better than me but I called and he gobbled to me. I don't really know. And then he went away. So here we are, me and Justin, about to get some coffee and some breakfast. Uh, and we're probably just going to set up where we're seeing these gobblers cross into this pasture for this afternoon. All right, so it's 1.03. I got a shower, wash some clothes, charge some batteries. Anyhow, we're about to go. We got two hunts left in Virginia. So we're about to... I don't know. I... It's a good spot it's where these turkeys are coming out. If they're there when we get there, it's not going to be a good thing. All right, we just pulled up gobblers out there, and we've got a haul tail. We've got to cut this turkey off to know exactly where he's going. A jogger feels like he can trespass down the thing. There he is. See him? You'll see him. See him running? You'll see him in the screen running right here. Right there. That's the kind of luck I've got, guys. Drive uh, 15 hours total. Turkey runs off, probably ain't coming back. after the old jogger escapade happened I'm trying to just settle that turkey down a little bit he came by me at about one or two yards but I probably could have killed him with a broom handle he slowed down his run well first he ran into the field. forgot to do one of these little things yesterday uh -oh. so I figured I'd do it Isn't I remember it is, but I can, oh. I can invert it. Kind of like how I was like, last, who are you talking to? Kind of like how this turkey season's been upside down. Oh, for you, definite. Well, for you, definitely. Mm. I think, I think what we should do uh, at about two or three o'clock, we should just go on a map, find a spot that looks pretty good. And um, come back to the house, put on some um, some Nikes and some spandex. And go jogging. And just run wherever the crap we feel like it. Wherever we feel. Yeah, wherever yeah. we feel like it. It don't matter where it is. Yeah. We just That, that looks like a good place to run. I've lived here for 40 my, years. My whole life. Yeah. 30, 38 years. I think years. I want to go. Why don't we go set up in that guy's yard and see if we can call a gobbler up? Yeah. Yeah, like it didn't that like last yeah. Take a dump on it. Because I've been here for three days. So oh, I, turn it off. I mean I, I've been here for a whole three days, so that yeah, entitles you, you've us. Earned, you've earned your right. You've earned your right to just run. That entitles us to go set up in his yard. To to run wherever. So that's wherever what we're gonna do. Alright. Go to the jogger's house. Let's go kill one of his turkeys. <laughs> in here because we're running a little bit behind 
pray you got us. Got us this morning. Put us in the right position for a, for a turkey, Lord. If it be your will, thank you for this trip. Thank you for the, even thank you for the trials and the struggles. And thank you for what it teaches us. <clears throat> but I pray you would uh, just bless us today. If it be your will, give us an opportunity <clears throat> to kill a turkey. In Jesus' name, amen. That's, that's a little food plot thing right there. Uh -huh. The trail comes around and basically hits that 250, comes toward the line. Right. And runs straight down into this bottom. This is that drain. You see that double drain right, right. there? Yeah. Talking about? Mm -hmm. They're going to be roosted anywhere from here all the way up. This, okay. actually, this actually does wrap around right. a little more than this shows. But anywhere from so here. So we're just going to get on that bench. The one, the one that I heard gobble twice, he's, yeah. I think he's right here. Okay. Or maybe a little bit closer. So he's gonna be within. He's but, within 100 right now. Yeah. Well, maybe Sleeping. a little further. But the one with the good gobble, I think he was in the bowl because he was. He sounded like still good. 100 from no, from here. But we're gonna be. Well, you see that cedar thicket right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be. We need to be right up against it. Okay. Or close to it. All right. Like that. The turkey I tagged out on. Yeah. They were both they were both roosted right here and they, they hit the bowl and came right over the top right to me. Alright, so we need to be left. From from here, yes, left. Right over there is where I had the jogger scare the turkey by me yesterday. The turkey's coming out in that field in just a little while. Last time he gobbled. Last time he gobbled, he was heading this way. So, we're heading this turkey get down. He saw us. It's over. No, 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 no. No, no, no. They didn't. They didn't. It's a Jake. There's the Jakes, right? Yeah. Alright, let's run them off. All them Jakes? That's the three brothers. Yeah. Three Jakes. Alright. So we just scared three Jakes, but it really doesn't matter. Because the gobbler's going to come out of here. Maybe that'll keep, that'll keep things civil in this field today. But we're gonna ease down this road, get set up on this gobbler. All right, so Justin just left. The gobbler was out there on the power line right at the bottom of this field. It went down. It went down in a gully. And I'm thinking they're gonna work the hardwoods and come back out in this field. So we'll see. Right now, if I leave, I'll be home at nine p.m. So every hour that goes by is another hour. I'll be home later and later and later. It's coming down to the last seconds, minutes of this out-of-state two-day, two-state trip. Had an opportunity when they were, he was just sitting there. I could have probably made a move on him, but I didn't. Just praying that he shows back up with them hands in his field. Alright, I got three Jakes and a gobbler just come out. See if I can get a chance at them.
Bummer's over there. Jumping on him, I believe. In the same spot. Alright, so that just happened. And um, <laughs> got my buddy Justin right here. So, this gobbler, um, I'm pretty sure he's dead. I saw uh, the other gobbler he was with kept strutting and pecking down the ground. So, that's got the only thing that could mean is I killed the turkey. I mean, I heard a thud. I shot him set up right there. I'm looking out here. I shot him right there at that stick. And I saw him way out across that other pasture. And I backed up out of here. I backed up out of here and went around on this road and started lost calling and kiki running and assembly yelping because I could see him and his head changed color and he started coming all the way across there. And so I backed up and crawled down the road and got back to the tree. Well, about 10 minutes later, I see him enter the field over here off to the side. And you'll see it better when we walk out there, but he, he entered the field right over here and he had three jakes with him and they came all the way up to me. They started coming and they met another gobbler right here in front of me and started fighting. And then that gobbler walked right there and I just put it on him. I mean, I heard a thud. I know he's down, especially because that other gobbler was uh, pecking at him. That, that log right there, right to the right of the barn, is where I saw him. Thank you, buddy. You were a pain in the butt to hunt. I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. Oh, ivory. Mm. That's where I come out at. Just wrecked him. Alright. Here we are. Virginia. He was a strange guy, wasn't he? Stayed on the limb. Both of those idiots were. He stayed on the limb till 9.03. 9.03 this morning. <laughs> Y'all saw all the video and what happened. And... Well, we figured out they liked that spot a lot, so. He sure liked to play pinball, didn't he, with those hens. He'd yeah. hen come out and he'd go to her. Stay with her a little while, strut for her. And a different hen come out, he pinballed it over there. And he just bounced around, and then he bounced the wrong way, I guess. Well, they got in a little tangle, too. Yeah, I, I walked out there the last time he walked away and started assembly helping and kicking, and his head changed colors, and he started coming all the way across. And uh, he crossed one big pasture on a power line and then came into this pasture with three jakes. Came all the way up in there in front of me. And then him and another gobbler started fighting. I came right up there and I, I drew back and started sh shooting. And didn't feel good about it. Slowed down a little bit, picked spot, and here's the result. We appreciate it, old friend. <laughs>